Well then. Looks like it's time to do what I should have done, and I would have done if I had, it had been up to me. The boy escapes. Yes, you are. I was going for the air assassination, but I missed the branch. So. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye. But we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. This is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. This is the first game Essentially, I, I remember sit, reading this thing and or listening to it, I can't remember, it's one of the two, but essentially it was, you know, the developers of Assassin's Creed and what they were aiming to do was they didn't want you to, you know, blindly say Assassin's are good, Templar's bad, you've got to make your own decision. Um I don't know if I was forgetting what that even's for. But essentially I, uh, they they were saying that they yeah they wanted you to make your decisions based on that whether the Templars are good or bad or not, and I think this is the either the first one they pulled it off or the first one I've had enough knowledge of the history, and you know the aftermath. William Johnson is dead, and with him the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. To make a decision. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is... Regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words. But do you believe them? Seems we've company. There's not some of those pictures. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... Well, that was rude. But yes, I. it's one of those things where, because of the way that the course of history went, and, you know, I 
it's something that always that's actually making you think. It's like with uh, Revelations. Um, there's a person you assassinate in that, which really made me regret my decisions. But the problem is the the one problem with this game that that you know obviously for the sake of the way that the game is, it's you know linear, uh, and they can't particularly change that since if they changed it, it then you know doesn't become it doesn't. Yeah, it, it's a game that should follow a linear story in the sense of you do this and you do this. Uh, yes, I can if I can find you. There you go. Are you all right, Snake? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the oh. woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. Or not. You'd be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Ah. Uh. I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. Living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. Nope, it's it's not. But truth be told. Yeah, um. So yeah, that made me really regret it in Revelation is that that killed it. Kana! What are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. Saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. Ooh. I think I will. But yes, um, the linear gameplay is necessary for it because it's a story. It, the game is very single, single path. I mean, with the entire desynchronization multiple choices would, you know, not be able to work in that manner, but, uh, it's like with, uh, Brotherhood, uh, and, and Lucy, I tried not clicking anything for, uh, clicking anything for ages, and, but, you know, it doesn't make a difference really, and talking of Lucy, no, Nobody's mentioned her since. Yeah, nobody's. Here we go. Hold Y while above a target. Oh, rope dart. Right. Ah, that's cool. But yes, um, nobody's mentioned her recently. It's like it sort of got covered but then it was that's a... sorry this is I hope that's awesome William Johnson's dead. Good hole up there. I hear tell lumbering will be allowed to boot. What does he want with the territory if not the game and timber? Don't know. Don't much care neither. Beat skulking around these. Days. Something don't feel right. <laughs> Feeling a bit guilty about that.
That weapon's brilliant. I think I've fallen in love. But yes, um, hmm. but it's stuff like that, that conversation. Hey, oh. Where are you, fellas? Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No. I spare me. Go. Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Yeah, so the it's like that he wasn't after the land or the timber. He probably was genuinely thinking that buying the land would allow him to protect it, but it's you know hard to know certain. But but yes, this game does actually help with making you. Think about whether your decisions, well, the decisions made by the assassins are, are right or wrong. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land. But I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. That's fair enough. That works. Okay, um, well, that's uh, probably enough. Uh, so, I shall. Go sit on this rock over here and say until next time. <laughs>